Alright, in this tutorial we will be going over a custom validation of a text field. So, I guess the only time I guess you're really going to use this is if the types that were defined in the last tutorial are not exactly what you need. And with the custom validation you can really create any pattern that you want um, and there's just uh, a few simple rules that you have to follow uh, better than that it's pretty pretty easy pretty pretty uh, and it won't take you long to figure out I don't think but here's how we do it we go ahead and we click on custom inside of our type and we go down here into pattern and if you um, if you have some paper uh, around, you might want to take notes on, on what I'm about to say because there are a few different characters that you put into the pattern that will drastically change what can and cannot be inserted into the text field. So, so right now I'm just going to go ahead and put some zeros in inside my pattern here and these zeros mean a whole number a number between zero and nine if you want to make sure that someone enters five digits then you type five zeros in the pattern field and I mean that's the same as the zip code so you wouldn't really you wouldn't really need to do that but if that's just that's just an example so say that you have a number or you have some kind of ID number that looks like this and they're all whole numbers so you have five numbers and then a hyphen and then two more numbers after that so um, you can also you can also say say you want like a date and a time in the same text field then you can enter something exactly like that and you will be able to have the user input the time with uh, actually that's more like a, a date I'm sorry a date and a time so uh, that's how you do numbers so if you want to do any number between 0 and 9 all you have to do is a 0 and so to indicate uh, a single uppercase alphabetic character then you will type in a, a capital A so um, for instance you type in a capital A a zero and a capital A then that will allow the person to put in any capital uh, any capital letter a number and then a capital letter um, the capital A means that the letter has to be capital though if you want to do a, a lowercase letter then you can say a uh, zero a and then that would be the same as the last except the letters would have to be lowercase um, the pattern a a a would mean that you would have to put in lowercase letters for all, all three letters have to be lowercase so if it was a a that would be acceptable but this would not be acceptable. Um, to accept either an uppercase or a lowercase letter, then you will use a capital B. So the pattern BBB, a capital B, three times, uh, will accept both lowercase letters and also uppercase letters. Uh, to include numbers along with uppercase letters, then you can use the X. Uh, actually it is a a capital X the letter X matches both uh, numbers and lowercase alphabetical characters uh, you use capital Y for case sensitive uh, I mean case insensitive match for numbers and letters so so if you use X X X just like that then that will match B to B and B B B and also one two three, but it will not match B to B. 
or BBB. So basically, uh, just to recap that, to include numbers along with uppercase letters, use a capital X. The letter X matches both numbers and lowercase alphabetical characters. Um, so also, if you need to uh, use anything else, you can use a question mark as like a wild card. Uh, it stands for any character whatsoever. So you should use it when a character other than a letter or number like a period, an exclamation mark, a dollar symbol is uh, is what you want. So I think th uh, for that, that is about it. Oh, ooh, I have one more thing. Uh, the enforcing pattern down here. You can make sure uh, incorrect characters aren't even allowed into a form field by turning it on. So like if you want to turn on the enforce pattern checkbox uh, when this option is selected the form field blocks the input of invalid characters so it won't even allow them like to be put in there for example uh, suppose you added a sprite text field and then set its validation type to zip code using the US zip 5 format the box can accept only digits and only five digits at that so if the enforce pattern option were turned on for this field then a visitor could only type five numbers in the field and that's all they could type. It's if uh, a visitor clicks into the field and types a letter A, nothing happens because it only uh, accepts it only accepts numbers. Um, so if you want to enforce the pattern strictly and not allow any characters whatsoever to be allowed inside of the text box, then you will use the enforce pattern and that is it for this tutorial um, in the next tutorial we are going to be going over um, text area and we will see uh, the text area isn't as detailed as the text box or the text uh, field validation was but there's some cool things that we'll be able to do with that so hopefully you're looking forward to moving on to the next tutorial and um, I will see you then